I appreciate everybody for the 20,000 subs on YouTube. I still do see that 50% of y'all that watch my videos are not sub. It takes two seconds to sub up. If y'all want me to keep dropping these videos, I need y'all to sub up. Much love. What's good, my boy? Splashy here. In today's video, we will be doing a continuation of our bash tier list. And today, we will be doing the defensive bash tier list. I don't think it really changed that much prior to what the old tier list was, but I'm here to give you the explanations and answer any questions that y'all might have. Let's get straight into it. First, we got 94 feet. I think 94 feet is like an A-tier badge. I do think you need it to press, but it's not like you are like the best presser of all time. If you have it, I do think it is what I would consider as one of the necessity badges, though. Just because like you do need it or else uh, blow by and um, you like when the, when the playmakers or like the PGs have blow by even on like silver or gold, you get blown by in the backcourt a lot this year, so... That's one of the counters that you can use in the full court. Next, we got Glove. Glove is going to be the first S-tier badge. Um, realistically, um, Glove may not be as overpowered as it was week one or month one or season one because a lot of people have adapted to knowing that, hey, if I stand still for too long, I'm obviously going to get plucked. You feel me? But what makes Glove still overpowered is stacking it with another badge on this list, which we're going to get to in a little bit. But Glove is 100% S-tier, probably a top two defensive badge on the game still since the beginning of the year. Um, next, we got Interceptor. I'm going to put Interceptor in C-tier. So I'm pretty sure everybody who plays the game knows and sees how much, like, you tip the ball. Like, the, the problem is I feel like the higher your Interceptor, like, the more you tip the ball. Like, if you got, like, Bronze Interceptor, I feel like you're not going to tip the ball. You're going to take it. If you got like half interceptor, I feel like you just tip every single lane and they just get it back because the offense reacts to the ball faster than you. So like you just sit there and look dumb stupid. So now, interceptor really isn't that good of a badge to me this year just because the passing lanes are like awful. Next you got a move boom force. So move boom force also is an S tier badge. This is almost a badge that like if you don't have, it's like the rest of your badges don't matter. Like you can have clamps, you can have 94 feet, you can have all this and that. I feel like if you don't got a movable, you don't have what would be considered the strength mismatch over the person you're guarding. So, like, let's say you don't got a movable and I got blow by on gold. I'm right by you. 80% of the time I'm right by you. Let's say you got a movable and I still got blow by gold. Now, it's going to be more of a wall up animation. Like, uh, y'all know that, uh, that meme where it's like a cat posting up boogie. From a minute ago, and Boogie just standing there looking like the best man in the world, and cat. That's more what a movable enforcer like do. You get kind of like that animation when they just try to run through your body, and you should fully wall it up. I actually got off ball pass. Off ball pass is also gonna go in C tier. I just think, especially if you, I don't know if you guys have ran into somebody who knows how to use the bad spot finder, but especially if you're playing somebody who knows how to use the off the ball badges like the slippery and the spot finder, like. Once again, the passing lanes are awful, so you really have to play to not reach, and you don't even really attach to their body how you used to. The only time I think off-ball pass is useful right now is on the slip. Like, most big men don't even really get it that high, but, like, on the slip, off-ball pass is really good. Um, next, you got Pick Dodger. Pick Dodger's going to go in B. I do think it's a necessity badge, but for some reason, the higher you get it, the more it makes you hit screens. It's so like if you um, if you got off pick dodger and you trying to dodge the screen, you're going to fully try to dodge the screen instead of sometimes avoid it. Rather as or you got gold or silver, I feel like you don't really get that suction-y animation as much as you do. And that's what got Pogo Stick. Pogo Stick is just B. It's not as overpowered as it's been in the past like two or three years, but Pogo Stick always just be a good badge just because like it's Pogo Stick, you feel me? It, it, it's just, it's, it's Pogo Stick, you feel me? It ain't much more than need to be said. Next we got uh, Post Lock. Post Lock is also B. Um, I just think it's okay. I do think the post is more overpowered than post lockdown this year, but I do think you still need it as a badge. It's got rebound chaser. Rebound chaser always just be a necessity badge. It's gonna always be like a tier badge. Nothing really much more to say. Like own rebound chaser, it's rebound chaser. I do think you need it because they act like your player doesn't want to jump for the rebound at all when you don't have rebound chaser, and it does get primarily pretty annoying. Um, next we got the best badge on the list. Now, when I was talking about when you stack. These two badges together, that's what's making plucks as overpowered as they are. Right stick ripper. So, for you guys who don't know, literally, this badge works in lanes. And this badge works in lanes and it, it works on the ball. So, it was a patch that happened because the right stick was so OP that you couldn't throw the ball into anybody's vicinity. Because if you held your right stick up, you always got the right reach. So... We don't have that anymore because that part of it got nerfed. But right stick ripper is is what is what's making the plucks as overpowered as they are. Right stick ripper and glove are stacking against unpluckable, which barely works. So like, that's what's really providing you know, with 
the what I would say the the buff that's you know annoying point guards more more or less. You feel me? But Rice the Gripper is definitely the best defensive badge on the game. I mean, it's just. It's single-handedly been running the game almost all year, and some people, some of you guys don't even reach with the rice to get reach with square, so that should let you know how overpowered just glove is, but if you add on rice to gripper, even if it's on silver, like, if you have like 85 still, you can rip it off somebody almost every single time. I actually just played a ranked prom game on um, one of my guys accounts a few days ago, like, and I was on the power forward playing lockdown, I think he had bronze rice to gripper, I had like 12 steals. You just walk up to somebody and you snatch it out the hand. And see, I workhorse. I think workhorse is like just B tier. Um, I wish this badge helps you react to 50 50 balls like that aren't chaseable. Like, you know, like where you you pluck somebody and the balls, the balls live on the ground. You would react to that ball faster than the offense because the offense reacts to a non chaseable ball faster than the, the defense does. Workhorse is good for big men, though, to uh, chase down the long boards, though. Um, next you got Anchor. Anchor's an A tier badge. Um, I, I actually do wish Anchor was like better, cause like Stick Duncan is is better than Anchor, and that's like the problem. Like, even if you got half Anchor and he got half Precision, he probably dunking on you ten times out of ten. Like you have to take him out the animation, which is very rare. I'm um, next you got ankle braces. Ankle braces. Uh, it's not a lot of ankle breaker animations on this game. Literally, you probably have gotten ankle broken probably twice in the last five weeks. You feel me? Ankle braces is just kind of there. It's not like it really don't work, but it, it ain't really you know, a necessity. Uh, box Out Beast. Uh, I'm going to put Box Out Beast in A. The reason I put Box Out Beast in A is just because of the same thing, Rebound Chaser. And Box Out Beast has also warped into a badge with Worm. Worm is where you, like, shove the person boxing you out out the way. So, like, and Worms are the most RNG slash the best they've ever been this year. So, like, I do think you need Box Out Beast as well. And she got Brick Wall. Brick Wall is, like... Depending on what you play, like if you play like Park, it's like S tier. If you play like Rec Pro M 5v5, I think it's like B tier. You know, if you play like team based game modes in which like, you know, my team play now, then I think it's like B tier. So more or less, I'm gonna keep it in B tier for right now. The better part of it is, is you, it takes away the strength of the person you're guarding. So like if a lock was to get off brick wall, which a lot of locks don't go do, but if you was to go get half brick wall, like when you guard somebody and they bump you, you're gonna take his strength, like Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat. You feel me? So, but like I said, if you play like Park, then it's probably S tier, but I keep it in B. As you got Challenger, Challenger's gonna go in. So, okay, so the problem and what makes Challenger tricky Challenger is definitely an S tier badge, but it performs more like it's A tier. The problem with Challenger is the higher your Challenger, the more files you get on the three point line because Whistle overpowers Challenger. But the, the contest that you're allowed to get because you do have Challenger, you can like jump from the free throw line and get there 80% of the time, even if somebody's wide open because the movement dribbling wise and the stop on a dime mechanics are terrible. So I'll keep Challenger in S tier though. Next you got Chase Down Artist. Chase Down Artist is also just like a B tier badge. I don't really think it's like a, you. it's not like a for sure you gonna block everything, but like it's not a, you never gonna get any. As he got clamps, clamps is A tier. Clamps is just one of them badges that's just a necessity. You definitely do need it. Um, I don't think it's like overpowered or nothing because you still get blown by on this game anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But you definitely do need clamps to like stay in front of your opponent. And lastly, we got fast feet. Fast feet is gonna go in S tier just because I feel like when you don't have fast feet, I feel like your feet are like stuck in mud. Like you just can't, you can't slide laterally at all sometimes unless you have fast feet on like silver plus. So that's going to be the tier list. Any questions, make sure you drop them down below. Surprisingly, we have no, like, just unusable D badges. But of course not because defense is oh, 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 pretty OD this year. Um, I love every single one of y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Stop by the Twitch Splash. Stop by the Twitch Splash edition. Turn on notice. DM me your comment on any of my posts. Any questions? I don't know what it's doing for y'all. But in, in the Midwest, it's like fake snowing again. So I hope the weather where you at is treating you correctly. Make sure y'all get ready to get outside. Summer coming soon. I'm out. Peace.